Assalamu alaikum, greetings, Ali Sharma here. Welcome to more DIY projects. In this video, I'm going to show you my DIY 3D printed underwater sea scooter project that I have been working on for more than a year and couldn't finish it just because I didn't have enough time to work on it and also didn't have the right environment. Now I'm really happy that the idea is sitting real right here revolving. So basically this is my design of sea scooter. Well, they're not actually sea scooters. They're basically more like dive buddies. They assist you to dive underwater and help divers to move forward in the water effectively without using, you know, power of their body. So basically there will be a thruster. Uh, in my design, I will have two thruster, one up, one down and holding the handles one up, once I turn them on. I will move forward and I can go anywhere in the water diving. So let's get to work. Let me show you what it is and how it's going to work. So I have these thrusters which individually generate up to five kilograms of kilograms of thrust underwater. One of these, I'm talking about one of these. So two of these will be able to generate 10 kilograms of thrust underwater, which is more than enough for me. Uh, for a diver, lightweight diver like me to move forward. Now, my major issue was to waterproof the battery. 3D print my own design and try to seal it with different types of seal, but I was partially successful. You know, water is still went in because normally the PLA 3D prints are not that waterproof unless you, you know, polish them, like uh, sand them and put some kind of putty on them and seal every each line because they are like, you know, FDM line by line printed. So this didn't work and I had to go with my old, uh, you know, idea to use this box that I bought and this box is waterproof and I've tested it, no water goes in. So I'm going to put two batteries in it and I have also used silicone uh, gel to seal these cables coming in and XT60 connectors outside. They will be of course outside. I will, you know, seal them as well using some kind of balloon, you know, uh, <laughs> that will be nice. Or I can also use the uh, silicone sealing with, um, you know, a heat shrink tree. So this is my design and uh, it's very, very simple. I'm just gonna, put it together and you can see that it takes this box in that's gonna be my I that was my idea that I will actually put the box in it and this box is waterproof so most important is the batteries because batteries shouldn't get water after that this is the ESC box which will take an ESC now you can see these are 40 amp ESCs that I'm using and I put the silicone gel all over and they are properly sealed I have tested them they work underwater properly without any problems so the ESC will sit in here and the thruster will be installed on top of this using screws and after that I can always put the thruster on top everything moves forward so they actually lock automatically except the box which I will secure with a velcro so it doesn't you know pull out and after that just uh, you know put these uh, handles which I also designed in a way that you know you can remove them and there you go you have your underwater thruster or sea scooter that you can use to dive underwater effectively